What's happening, people, is James Beardwell, the Witten Town supporter here, and welcome back to another Witten Town FC match day vlog. Witten Town are away to some Pantelamon in the FA Cup extra preliminary round. I am buzzing already for this afternoon for the Witten Town away match to some Pantelamon in the FA Cup extra preliminary round match. And the season starts now for the new season. I am buzzing already. I'm excited for the new season. And especially I'm really excited for the FA Cup match away to St. Pantelamon. And, and I am 100% confident that we'll take it from last week's win into today's game. And hopefully we'll continue the winning streak away at St. Pantelamon. And we're going to keep up the fantastic Witten Town away support throughout the whole 90 minutes like we did in pre-season. And just like Rowan said, the Witten Town away support was outstanding, not just the whole 90 minutes. It's the whole of the pre-season matches we kept up, the fantastic Witten Town away support. And we're going to continue that fantastic away support at St. Pantel Le Mans. And now, I'm about to put my way to the Whittingtown away match to St. Pantelamon in Potter's Bar very shortly. I'm currently now arrived at the Whittingtown Football Club to get ready for the Whittingtown away match to St. Pantelamon. Unfortunately, I won't be able to get the train today because it's due to short trains running due to, like less trains running than normal and especially coming back it's, it's the problem because like the only problem is going back is around about after half past five which is the last train from potter's bar so the good news is i'm going to be getting a lift to the whittam town away match to st pantella le mans in potter's bar and but there's always other train trips to look forward to in, in the next Whitton Town away match and we've got to focus on the positives that the positive thing is I'm getting a lift from one of the Whitton Town player Liam Whips which is really really good and I'm really I'm really pleased that I'm getting a lift to the Whitton Town away match and and I'm feeling positive and and I won't let the rain affect it. <laughs> but yeah, and we're really looking forward to the FA Cup extra preliminary round match away at St. Pantella Le Mans down at Potter's Bar. And now I'm just waiting for the Whitton Town player, Liam Whips, to give me a lift to Potter's Bar. And then I'll be on my way very shortly. I'm currently now just leaving the Whittam Town Football Club to get ready for the Whittam Town away match to St Pantella Le Mans in Potter's Bar in the FA Cup extra preliminary round. And like I said, the it is a shame the train is, is running at the moment, but it's just short trains are like due to less trains running than normal today. So... I'm really glad I'm getting a lift for the Whittam Town away match and and to focus more on the positive that I've got a lift and I'm looking forward to the journey and especially I'm really looking forward to the Whittam Town away match and, and there's going to be a few other Whittam Town fans like Callum, Ben, Paul and Sam going to be there as well and it's going to be a great support as well. We're really looking forward to it. And it should be an amazing day. And now I'm, I'm going to enjoy the journey. I'm now arrived at Potter's Bar Town FC to get ready for the Whittam Town away match at St. Pantella Le Mans in the FA Cup extra preliminary round match and the journey went really well it was it was really quick and i've been given the lift from the Whitton town player liam whips today and i've really enjoyed the journey in the car it was really really quick and but it is a shame i didn't get the train today because like i said it was due to 
less trains running than normal today and the only problem is going back is the main problem is the last one leaves at 5 32 which is the which is the the last train going back which is a problem so that's why it'll be really tight because i'll have to do the interviews after the matches which i normally do and now i'm just waiting for a few of my friends a fellow Witten town supporters to arrive to do the interviews before the match, half-time thoughts and full-time thoughts as always. We're excited for the new season already, we're feeling the buzz already and we're really confident for an exciting season and we're looking forward to it. I'm now with the fellow Whitton Town supporter, Jim. Uh, James, how you doing? Good, thank you. Are you excited for the new season today? I'm really looking forward to it, mate. And I'll, I was keeping my fingers crossed. I didn't think it would be uh, on the day because we've had a lot of rain, haven't we? So, um, obviously, it looks like it's on the pitch. It's all right, actually. I'm quite surprised. So, it's on a nice pitch. So, uh, yeah, really looking forward to it, mate. Yeah, the pitch looks, looks really fine and we're really looking forward to the game and especially for the new season. And with Gary Kimball up, being back as manager and yeah. and we're excited for the new season, weren't we? We are indeed, mate. We are indeed. Can't wait for the uh, three o'clock, mate. Can't wait for three o'clock. <laughs> yeah, same. I can't wait for the three o'clock kickoff to get this game over and done with in the FA Cup extra preliminary round match, and and hopefully we get a good run because we need to go on a good run, hopefully, and it will be good for the club, won't it? Yeah, it will, mate. A good cup run it's, uh, always helps the, the club out, like right? you know what I mean. It's really good. And now we're coming to the score predictions. What's your score prediction? I'm gonna go, um, oh, I don't know, see like, I don't know what they are like this team, but I'm gonna go 2-1 with them. And I think we're gonna score a last minute winner. Like, oh, ain't I? I'm gonna be optimistic. I'm going 3-0 Whitton Town. Nice, I like that. Well, let's hope so, mate, eh? Thank you so much for your time, Jim, Cheers, and James. enjoy the game. Let's hope so, mate. Up the town. Up the town. I'm now with the fellow Whitton Town supporters, Callum and Ben. Good afternoon, right. James. Good afternoon, and you're looking forward to the game away to some Pantella Le Mans in Potter's Bar? Yes, I am. I think it'll be a good game, and then hopefully we can get a win into the next round of the FA Cup. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a good game, and the confidence is very high from the Whitton Town players, and we need to keep up the good run in the cup matches. And that's what the club needs, and that's what we need for the club, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I think a good cup run is what we want. We've got a pretty decent run in our first two games. If we can win today, then we're playing Stanway Harbour, and so we should be able to get past those two and hopefully get some revenue into the club. 100%, and that's what it's all about. We need to put in the good performances, like if we want to win many games as possible, we need to put in... 110% performances from the players, and but we're really confident we'll hopefully get the win away at St Pantella Mon, hopefully. Yeah, I'm confident. This is the sort of game we should be winning. They're a division below us, so we're hopefully going into the game. We're going into the game pretty confident that we can come out and get the victory and move on into the, the next round and try and get as far in the competition as possible, and hopefully at the end of it, first round proper. We're hoping to get to the first round proper because the last time when we played in the fourth qualifying round was against Western Supermere and a 2-1 defeat against Western Supermere. But hopefully we get a long cup run because that's what we need, wouldn't we? Wouldn't yeah. It? yeah, we want a good cup run, ultimately. We want to play as many games as possible, keep the place fit, try and get as much money as we possibly can because we can get that, put that back into the score and hopefully invest in some good players and hopefully use that, maybe to develop the stadium or something. But if we can have a good cup run, we'll get a good amount of money, which will help the club as, as well. And now we're coming to the score predictions. What's your score prediction, yeah. Callum? Uh, it's a tough one to call. What do you think, Ben? Uh, I'm going to be properly honest, and I'm going to say I don't know nothing about this team. I say, hopefully we can do them 5-0 today, hopefully. Final Whitton Town, and what's your score uh, prediction, Callum? I don't know, it could go either way. Mm, uh, I'll say 2 2, I think, and then we'll win the replay 2 0. Okay, and I'm going to be optimistic. I'm going to go for 3 0 Whitton Town. Very good. Thank you so much for your time, guys, and 
Bring on anyone and up the town. Up, up, the, up town. the town! Brilliant. We've got to be nice and loud, everyone. We've got to be nice and loud. Enjoy the game, guys. Come on, punch it in. Come on, boys. Town's ball. Go on. Go on, buddy. Oh. Oh. Ronnie Bates. Ronnie Wine. Come on, town. Walking along. Singing a song, walking in the fights, wandering around. Clear! Away! Clear. Well cleared! Billy, scoring the Billy! Fish! Oh! I thought I was in! Ah! Oh. We're going to win 2-1. We're going to win 2-1. 2-1. Yeah, still a long way to go, Keeper. <laughs> I agree with you. 1-0 <laughs> to San Pantanelamon. Boys, that was good, mate. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. We're going to win 2-1. 2-1! Win well tackled. Go, Jeff. Go, Jeff. 
Shoot! Ah! 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 Oh! Well, this year we'll be on telly in the first round. Just wide. The half time score St. Pantella Le Mans 1, Whittam Town 0. And here we got the fellow Whittam Town supporters Ben and Callum. Hi. Guys, the first half was positive. We played really well and we showed some great football. But the only frustrating is that we can see the first goal. But we have absolutely dominated them. But we just couldn't find the way through in the back of the net. And hopefully things will turn around in the second half, hopefully. Yeah, yeah it's disappointing because, as you say, we've been the better team. We've outplayed them. They've had one shot and that's gone into their, in our back of the net. It's disappointing because we've had lots of chances. Been, it's mostly been up our end. So it's a shame we haven't got a, a goal because we have created like seven or eight chances, just not taken them. Yeah, at this level, we've got to take your chances because otherwise, sometimes if you don't take your chances, the opposition will punish by scoring the goal. And then we've got to take the chances at this level in football. And But hopefully, the goals will come, hopefully. Yeah, yeah hopefully. The second half, we've been the better team in the first half. So if we can carry that on and hopefully get a couple of goals because they're not the best. You can see the keeper's been pretty poor. So, I mean, yeah, we've got to hope that we can convert some of our chances because... We've outplayed them a lot. They haven't really offered that much going forward apart from that one effort. What's your thoughts, Ben? Uh, I think exactly the same with Callum. I think that we'd have a few chances, but I think if we get out there second half and try to get some more challenges, we might be in with a shout to win as well. Thank you guys so much for your time and keep the faith and let's hope it'll be a better second half yeah. for Whitton Town. Up yeah. the, the town! town! Kimball! There's only one Gary Kimball. One Gary Kimball. There's only one Gary Kimball. One Gary Kimball. There's only one Gary Kimball. One Gary Kimball. There's only one Gary Kimball. Kimble. Liam, what was your thoughts so far? Um, it was a bit of a rubbish half, but one little down. I think we'll, we'll come back. What do you reckon the score's going to be? Uh, five one. 5-1. Yeah. We'll go with that. Yeah. Thanks, Liam. Cheers. <laughs> Yes! 1-1! One, one. Get in! Yes, Callum! Yes! Yes, Jim! Yes! Come on! Two Wanderson Pantella Le Mans. 
Gucci! Play the advantage. Fair! Yes! How to get to Williams out? Yes! How to get to Williams out? Yes! Keepers, go left. Ref is not on his line. Let's go, Lincoln. to us. Come on town! Come on boy! Come on with them! Finish it! Corner! Come on! Everywhere we go! Winter are massive! Everywhere we go! Get a last minute goal. Come on. Come on. One, two, three, four. We turn a massive. Everywhere we go. We turn a massive. Everywhere we go. Tuesday, come on. Well Let's played. Go. Let's go Tuesday. Well done, mate. Well done. Well done, guys. Well done, mate. Cheers, James. Well done, guys. Well done, Ronnie. Cheers. Well done, mate. Cheers. Well done, Harry. Well done. Well played. Well done. Well done. Well played, mate. Well played. Well done. Well played. Well played. Well played. Cheers, James. Well played. Well played. Well done. Well played. Cheers. Thank you. Well played. Well played. Well played. Well done. Well done, Gary. Well done, mate. Well done, Gary. Well done, Kevin. Well done. Was it this? Was it this Tuesday? Well done, boys. The full time score sent Pantella de Mon 2, Whitton Town 2. And here we got the fellow Whitton Town supporters, Jim, Callum, and Ben. All right. All right, James, boy. Good, thank you. Guys, it was a really positive second half, and we took the goals very well. But I think it was an own goal from the first one, we pulled one back. And then the second goal, when we scored the penalty, and. We were so close to nick a winner, and then yeah. somehow it wasn't to be. But but we were so unlucky not to score a last-minute winner, and it was 
it was so close to score last minute winner, but but things are looking positive and and we look forward to the replay. Yeah. I do, I'm looking forward to it. I mean, if we played like we did in the second half, I think there's only been one outcome, mate. Um, and we didn't come away with a win here. I think we just so much on, more on top in the second half. They was panicking, they were flying in with the tackles. But at the same time, they were rolling around all over the place. It was unbelievable, a bit pathetic in my eyes, to be honest, the other team. But um, but they kept going with them, I think. And um, should have won it easy. It was just, how we didn't win it, I don't know. But I mean, it's not for the want of trying, mate. They worked their socks off on fourth today. Yeah, we, it was a bit more positive in the second half and we, we were so close to score a last-minute winner and then I thought I thought it was going to go in the back of the net yeah. but but we look forward to the replay against yeah. St Pantelli Mon at home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think there's no reason why we can't beat them at home because we were the better team today. We are just unlucky not to come over the win. That last chance right at the end, if that had gone in, we'd have won. But no, I think we'll beat them comfortably yeah. in the home game. Yeah, I agree because as we take into the replay and we should be comfortably, comfortably playing at the home game against St Panther Le Mans and we'll hopefully get the job done in the replay. But things are looking positive, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, some good football out there at times. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the game on Tuesday. Thank you guys so much for your time and roll on to the replay. Let's go. Up, up the town! Up the town! I'm now with the Whitton Town manager, Gary Kimball. You are, James? Good, thank you. What was your thoughts on the game against St Panther them on the way? Well, to be fair, I think uh, we did. I think we just shaded it in the second half. Uh, to be fair, we give them two goals, uh, but uh, reflection. I think we could have nicked it at the end with Jeff last kick of the game. He's put it wide, but we showed character to come back from uh, one down, and we straight after half time we made it one one, and then we had the uh, we had the uh, proper grit in our teeth, you know, and then made a couple of subs, and I think I think the subs changed the game, really, you know, and then second half, we let it luster in the uh, second half with uh, the second goal, uh, but then we showed character again, got a penalty, Jeff put that away, and then we could have scored at the end of the end, but overall, happy to get, get a replay. The Whitman Town support has been amazing throughout the whole 90 minutes, haven't they? Yeah, they've done, they've done ever so well again today. Uh, as you can see, you uh, you sing for 90 minutes, which is good. And uh, hopefully it continue on Tuesday for the replay. 100%. Thank you so much for your time, Gary. And roll on to the replay. Yeah, roll on to the replay. And hopefully we can get through. Definitely. Thanks. Cheers, James. Thanks. I'm now with the Whitman Town player, Alfie. Hi, oh, James. How are you? Good, thank you. What What is your thoughts on the game against St Pantelamon away? Uh, I thought we was the better side. We just needed to take our chances, really. Uh, a couple ones fell to us late on. If we would have took them, we wouldn't have had to have a replay and we would have wrapped it up nicely, wouldn't we? Yeah, we were so close to score a last-minute winner because I, I thought it was going to the back of the net, but... The Whitton Town supporters have been magnificent as always throughout the whole 90 minutes, haven't they? Yeah, honestly, the whole pre-season, it's been amazing. Like, to have you lot following us at this level of football, it's crazy. It's brilliant. Thank you so much for your time, Alfie, and roll on to the next game. No worries. I look forward to it. See you there, James. See you there. Thanks. So here you go. To be honest, I was really gutted not to get a last minute winner, but sometimes unfortunately it happens in football and it was a 2-2 draw and take it into the replay on the Tuesday coming. But like I said, to be honest, I'm gutted with we couldn't get a last minute winner, but it was just an inch wide. Like, so we was jumping up and down because I thought it was in the back of the net. Actually, we thought it was in the back of the net, and so is Callum and Ben and Jim. We all thought it was in, but all of a sudden, I thought, it just went wide. And I just thought, how do we not score? And then, but the main important thing is, just like Ben said, the most important thing is we haven't lost, and we drew away to St Pantelle de Mon, and we take it into the replay. And for our Wim Town support, we gave everything throughout the whole 90 minutes. And then the second half, just the start, just the very start from the second half from the kickoff, and then about so about 15, 20 seconds later, 
scored the equaliser and I thought I think it was an own goal I think I'm not 100% sure but we'll see it on the vlog later on but the most important thing is we've got the draw and we haven't lost just like Ben said and like I said we gave everything throughout the whole 90 minutes of the Whitton Town support to try and get it over the line with a victory for Whitton Town and but sometimes it happens in football like not just in non-league football it happens in the Premier League Championship League 1 and League 2 when he sometimes like concede last minute defeats and lump and also scoring last minute winners but sometimes at this level in football in non-league at this level in football we have to take the chances to put in the back of the net but but in my opinion my honest opinion that if we don't take our chances we get punished by the opposition team by getting the goal but you have to take your chances and put it into the back of the net and otherwise you get punished by the opposition goals that they scored and like we've got to take them at this level in football you have to take your chances to put the ball into the back of the net and that's just my honest opinion but if you if agree or disagree that's fine and but I think we take the positives with a draw and we think on the positives and look forward into the replay and and like Gary said we'll make sure we get the job done on Tuesday and hopefully get the victory like Gary said hopefully get the job done by getting the win in the replay which is the most important thing and but overall we really enjoyed the day and so is my mates and fellow Whip Town supporters we've really enjoyed it and we've now got to look forward to the replay and we've now got to keep our heads held high and not dwell onto that draw because we've got to take the positives and look forward to Tuesday night's game and but I literally thought I thought if we would have took that into a victory like if we took last week's win into today's game but we were so close to get a last minute winner but like I said how do we not score a last minute winner because like like I said to be honest I, I was guided with the draw but we got to take the positives in the draw into Tuesday night's game in a replay which we really look forward to it and we got to keep our heads held high and look forward to the next game before I end today's vlog, I just want to give a massive shout out to Liam Wibbs for giving me a lift on the way down and I couldn't thank you enough because like I said in, in the vlog that there weren't many trains running today and especially coming back and I'm very grateful for the lift on the way down and just want to say thank you very much Liam for giving me a lift on the way down. I couldn't thank you enough and look forward to see you on Tuesday. Hope you enjoyed today's Whitton Town FC match day vlog. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment down below on my YouTube channel, James Beardwell. Whitton Town's next match is a home to St. Pantelamon on Tuesday the 8th of August. Up the town.